Uh, time to finish it. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Vales killed? They're crazy. I never said he killed the Vales. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. So where are you gonna go? I got some other business I need to take care of. What did you do? That... That was me getting rid of Lady Arkham's drugs. The innocent people. I did what I had to do. I had to make the choice about what sacrifices to make. Ah! Ah! Oh, you psycho! Uh, Am I, you though? Whatever you want to me. But Lady Arkham's plans are already in motion. Death went too far. I would still like to be crushed in between the five, though. The city is still reeling from an explosion Mayor Harvey Dent set off. This is like a, that feel like a whole week an later. Entire city block and killed innocents. When questioned about his extreme measures. Mayor Dent said he'll use any force necessary to take down the children of Arkham. Jim, no! Be shot, boy! Oh, fuck! The bad, you will let you live. Meanwhile, his opponents are routinely silenced. The latest to speak out is Police Commissioner Grogan. He called Dent a murderer and a terrorist, and demanded his immediate resignation. In response, Dent's enforcers attempted to arrest Grogan, sparking violence inside the precinct. These are dark days in Gotham. Our mayor promised us a better city, but delivers only more violence. How long do we let this two-face stay in power? Hey, How long can hey, we... He said, he said his hey, name. Excuse me, you can't be in here. <laughs> hey, you can't do this! Shut up! Let me go! Hey! Yo, hey, imagine getting raped on camera. Time's up! You should have known better, Gordon. Now we nail your tongue to the precinct door by order of City Hall. Just try me, you punks. <laughs> I like these odds. Arm <laughs> up the building. Just in time, Batman. Ugh. Mayor Dent's lost his goddamn mind. His enforcers have overrun the city. Apparently, our new mayor doesn't care much for dissent. He's ordered a purge of every honest cop we have left. Dent's a sick man. Dent is a sick man. He needs to be stopped before he hurts anyone else. Well, maybe you can get him some therapy. After you stop him tearing the city apart. Come on. The commissioner's still down there. Ugh. Gordon's like a real one. He's been shot or stabbed or something. And he's like, still. Sure, you're up for this? I have still, to. Be. Still pushing forward. Follow my lead. Oh, okay, I just killed someone.
in the lobby. Gordon just killed him. The commissioner. They can't hold out much longer. Freeze my word. Try to save me too. Oh. 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 GG's my guy. <laughs> You've received the hardest back shot oh. from a bench. You have to stop it. And that's how Gordon becomes commissioner. The commissioner is he? He died a hero, giving his life for Gotham. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Now this... This is not your fault. It's a bastard, Dents. Rogan was a good man. A family man. Lieutenant Gordon! Gordon! Come in! S Sergeant Kelly! Report! It's the mayor! At Wayne Manor! He's got... hostages. And he's killing them one by one until Bruce Wayne shows. He says, he says, cops show up, he'll kill another. Batman shows up, he'll kill them all. Kelly, get out of there. Sir, it. I'm. I'll let the coin decide. Kelly! Oh, he's one of the Kelly! Damn it! Get yourself to a hospital, Lieutenant. Do I dare to choose if I go in as Bruce Wayne or um, Batman? Alfred, are you safe? Yes, I'm barricaded in the Batcave. I heard gunshots, but then Harvey's men disabled the cameras. I have to face Harvey as Bruce Wayne. Otherwise, he'll just keep killing people. Perhaps going as Bruce could be an advantage. Even without the suit, you're a formidable opponent. I know the old Harvey is still in there somewhere. If anyone can reach him, it's you. I'll be standing by if you need me. It's time to end this, Harvey. Once and for all. Hell yeah. Oh, whoa, we got backstory. Now, I want a safer Gotham. A Gotham where working people can raise their families. Fear of being robbed or stabbed or, or worse. I just. I know I can make the city better. If only I. Okay, I'll back you. <laughs> Come on, Bruce. That joke is in poor taste. I'm serious, Harvey. I'll fund your campaign completely. I've lived in Gotham my whole life, and I've never seen an official I can believe in. Until you. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. I, I... I promise, I will not let you down. Mm -mm, never even crossed my mind. The only real question is, this election or next? We'll let the coin decide. Damn, that... <laughs> they cooked with that transition. Lucky, but someone has to die. You volunteering, Deborah? Harvey! Wayne! About damn time! Snipers, two of them. Get the drones online. 
I'll see what I can do. I wasn't sure you'd come. Boy, what do you mean by that, mate? Boy. Burn down your home. And nothing. I came to help my friend, Harvey. I don't want your help. I want you dead! That is the sickness talking. And I know you're in there somewhere, Harvey. <laughs> Wait. What am I saying? I'm trying to fight it, Bruce, but I can't. Bruce, I only ever wanted to help Gotham. And now look at me. I can't stop him. I've known you a long time. Yeah. Empire. You are stronger we've got, we've got than your demons. I could always count on your friendship, Bruce. Oh, wait. Then he realized Until I fucked Selena. What happened with Selena? This city needs to be purged of people hey, like you. Hey, it was one night. Chill, my guy. She wasn't even Traders, interested in you. Terrorists. <laughs> and cops who don't take Well, you know, you don't care about the um, Arkham. Harvey, don't. This is the only way to clean up this cesspool. This is what happens to people who cross me, Wayne. You were the fiercest DA the city ever had. Someone who fought for people's dreams. So much for a safer Gotham. You're right. This isn't me. Go. Yeah. Go. Get away. I would let them all go, but it's not up to me. Deborah, my not so faithful assistant. You've been feeding my enemies info since the start! <laughs> I swear Burn I did. all you want, but it's not up to me. Your life, his life, even my life. They all hinge on yeah, that coin, You're yeah. Weak, that coin's gotta go. Letting a coin make your decisions. It's not weakness, Wayne. It's strength. To accept there's something bigger than me. Ah, you would... any of us. Uh, unfortunate. Now, <laughs> everyone's getting murked. Stay back! Oh God, please don't, Harvey. No more. No more. I'm just getting started. This is the only way to keep people in line. Harvey, please! You called me here for a reason. Take me! You... You were Harvey's friend, Wayne. He thought you'd save this city together. But he... He was a fool for believing in you! <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> That's enough, Harvey. You're... You're right. Do it. fixed move, I know. But sometimes, you have to make your own luck. One last call. A bullet in the head, or one in the heart. I'm feeling pretty good about those odds. Give me the coin. I need... I need the result. Where do I shoot? Drop the damn coin! Without the coin, I can't. I don't know what to do. Okay, I'll throw it. If you insist. No! What an idiot. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to do. I, I can't decide. It's too much. It's too much. I can't. A safer Gotham, Harvey. Just like you want it.
wherever they put me, whatever they do, I'll get out. I'm coming for you, Wayne. Hey, hey, whoa! Where is safe. Easy there, buddy. You're gonna die. I'm gonna get you help, Harvey. We will get you better. I am better, Wayne. I'm the best I've ever been. Oh, you'll see. <laughs> I'm not done yet. Mr. Wayne. I... I owe you so much. You're a hero. And I'm gonna make sure all of Gotham knows it. You should be rotting in Arkham! Oh, oh, oh shit! Lady Arkham hasn't forgotten you. Everything you love. Man got gunned down. Burn. No hesitation. No curveball. tea and the entire pantry I'm afraid didn't survive the fire this is from my own personal supply thanks Alfred, oh, Alfred you're an absolute legend we're not the only ones that took a hit while Mayor Dent was in power well at least you've ensured Harvey won't be hurting anyone else Bruce these Last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. D not just the physical toll. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Yeah. Always letting you down. I have you, Alfred. I'm not all people. You've never disappointed me, Alfred. But I have. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago. This, this is my fault. All of it. Uh, Alfred. I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her, if I'd stopped Thomas, none of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham. You're not the blame. You're not the blame. You're not the blame, brother. You did the best you could in an impossible situation, and it helped to make me the man I am today. I. Thank you, Bruce. But our work isn't done. Oh the children of Arkham are still out there. And Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, we can finally log into Wayne Enterprises see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. Your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Let's see what Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing? Oh wow, Cobblepot Enterprise. 
altered several public records using the Wayne network. Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in sociology. And my medical records. There are some, well, but colorful diseases. Annoying, but not hard to fix. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's better. Well, no surprise here, Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. <laughs> Calm Ridiculous. down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bat computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? I, I don't know. Oh, Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. Oswald was... <laughs> Was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. It's some kind of tourist attraction. He was going to call it Falcone Island. Wow. Mm. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Of course. Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network? In that season he two, I honestly wonder if that's not because I've never seen Unless... gameplay or played it. Hold um, on. if Penguin's in it and it's like you got Iceberg Lounge, that would be cool. What do we have here? And I wonder what else is in it, because by the schematics. Obviously, I know it's Every about Joker, Every building in Gotham with a Wayne still. Tech security system can be accessed from what here, other and remotely like, controlled. Did it, maybe? If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. Vicky Vale, mid-30s, reporter for the Gotham Gazette, and not in the public record, her true name, Victoria Arkham. To think she was here, in the manor, she gave nothing away of her true nature then. Whoa, she looks good for 35. Oh, damn. The Gazette's records are the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record isn't complete. Mid uh, uh, right. No way she did the gaps between entries. But yet, it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. The children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to get justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. If she's in her the mid thirties, then Bruce Wayne's fucking young then. Until they found a leader, Gotham couldn't ignore. Unless he's in his forties, and there's no way. Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear, not unlike Batman. I just need to find her. Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... There. No more holes. There we go. 
She was looking into Arkham patients, reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill, Falcone, and my father. Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums. All to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD oh headquarters, God. Gotham it's First National. It's oh my almost God. every landmark in the... security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Speaking of... Is it Lady Arkham? No, it's one of Lucius's prototypes. On the move. What? But Lucius locked everything away. Well, he needed a better lock. She stole from you? After we opened our doors to her? After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? She must have a reason. She must have her reasons. Well, I'm sure she does. Computer visual. The prototype she stole. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands, especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. And Alfred, let Lucius know what's happened. I'm going to get some answers from Selina. Yo, that backdrop was horrendous. expecting you thought I'd make it outside the city limits at least you should know by now not to underestimate me I thought you might be busy with I don't know saving the world I'm flattered I rank so highly but I know you're not here for me are you I don't blame you for wanting it back <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this no doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham. If she but the just asks, if she just asks, oh, so hey, can I have more. this? I would have happily given it to Exciting. Why should I give it back? You don't have to. You can keep it. So much potential. Just imagine what I'd be able to dig my claws into. Thief of your class doesn't need a device like that. It'd only be a crutch. <laughs> Says the man whose belt is an armory. Catch. I know you're just playing into my pride, but you're right. I don't need a crutch. Damn. <laughs> oh come on. She doesn't need a crutch. Don't pretend you're not crutch. impressed. In As a... long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the uh, she used me. Bruce Wayne. She used me. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman. Scourge of Gotham. I don't believe you. You talk a good game, but I don't buy it for a second. You're not that shallow. You really think you know me that well? I know that whatever this started as, that's not all it means to you now. 
The only thing it means is that I'm very good at my job. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire, and I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you, hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, but... but Maybe someday I will. Someday, yeah. Maybe I will be able to leave Gotham. But for now, I am the only one who can save this city. So humble. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? That My copy happen. of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some. I could never hurt you. Selena, I would never hurt you. Bruce, I... That's really sweet. But it brings us to the root of our problem, doesn't it? You're upset that I'm leaving. What'd you think? That one night of sex meant we were going steady? Yes. Yes. Is that what you really thought? I had fun, didn't you? <laughs> I had fun, Selena. Didn't you? I'm all for fun, Bruce. But how long does this stay fun before you start wanting more? <sighs> Look, Bruce. I'll admit that what you and I had... It wasn't terrible. But you were just another job. A more... Intriguing job than I was expecting. <laughs> but still a job. And that job's done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. No, it's I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. Understandable. I Understandable. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. Stop. It's not true. I know there's more to you than that. You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Why would you even think that? I've made my feelings pretty clear. Because I love you. Why aren't you listening? Because I love because you. Because I love you, Selena. Damn. You... You barely know me. Bruce, if that's your idea of love, I feel sorry for you. Well, there's one good that thing about this. No, I know I was right. You really are just like everyone else. Can't wait to get out of this place. Bye, Goodbye, Selena. Bitch! Batman and Catwoman are always in love in the comics. She's lying. She's lying. Lucius, I've got the key. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I... Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! I, I tried to keep them out, but... Uh-oh. Alfred? Uh-oh. Alfred! Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn oh, it. shit. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Surely Get over the here as fast as you die. can. I'm on my way. We're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. Shit went down. Look, there's a fucking thing in the wall. Need behind. to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? A scuff mark. What could have caused this? Uh, the fireplace, you dumb shit. Ash everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> what else could make a scorch mark other, other than fire? And looks like I absolutely I like here. dropped my pants and absolutely just let one rip on bare cheeked on the ground, then I don't think I would don't think anything else could make a scorch mark. Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. What did they do to you, Alfred? 
I'm more concerned. Why the fuck is this thing up here in the wall? <laughs> the fire poker. Someone's got bad aim. Can I link this to anything? No. Nope. Face was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. Yeah, but Alfred must have put up a good fight. Something big was thrown against this wall. Or someone. R.I.P. Alfred. Got a bad feeling that Alfred's just being killed. The lock's been completely destroyed. Alfred must have barricaded himself in here. But they got in anyway. Barricade, eh? Um, what did he use for a barricade? The table? It didn't work. Um, well, it would have to be this, wouldn't it? Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. Yeah, the fire poker. Alfred surely try to shove the fire poker no, off someone's ass. No blood on the poker. Okay, then. Um. The, what did the what, what? What did they use the fire poker for? Um. Uh, weren't scattered by the same event. Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off an attacker. Oh, there we go. But it was knocked away. That, there's no way he blocked it like that. And what caused the scuff mark? Did Alpha really just bare cheeked and let one rip on the ground? Sure, oh wait, oh wait. This pool cue was used as a weapon. Swung so hard it broke in half. We got that. Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon. Broke it across his attacker's head. When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table. Okay, then that leaves the question. That makes very sense. The scuff mark and the broken shell, there's no way that's connected. Lady Arkham must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. What? I know what happened. But someone did bear cheek it. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads, then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself. But Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly as across the room and lodge into the it. wall. Who does Mark bitch think she is? Fucking Goku? He smashed his face into it. That 
bitch. He hurt my father. Alfred's the real father. Wait. Bruce Wayne's like go on. Belong there. Lady Arkham wanted me to find this. Alfred. Goku may be Gohan's father, but sure how Aunt Wu ain't his daddy. That's, that's Bruce Wayne right now. But I did it. Password reckoning. You have no idea. The butler did it. What did the butler do? for the things my family has done. I'm responsible for this. All right. Well, then let's get to work. Alfred keeps adjusting his glasses. The reflection. He's making Alfred's sure too fucking smart. In his glasses. <laughs> he knows the back computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the How does easy. How does a guy in his mid-80s And I can view the that. virtual image using my cowl. Good thinking, Alfred. Alfred's like 80 years old, as if he knows how all okay, this technology works. Freeze frame on the first signal Alfred gives. Paint us a picture. Here we go. Oh, that's cool. That's insane! It's like VR! He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Professional grade camera. Probably came from the Gazette's office. Stairs leading up, cement walls. We're in a basement. Alfred's trying to look at this. I could have figured that one a clue out. to where he's being held. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Rogers Plumbing, a service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Here we go. Oh. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. Nothing else to see here. Moving on. A mason stamp. Only one Masonic lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. So the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. Lady Arkham. Keep searching. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Oh. The basement window. What's that outside? Give me a second. What does it look like? They're by a bus stop. Here we go. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. Um. Oh yeah, we gotta go basement. Uh, bus stop. We can get the bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. Uh, build year. Okay, filtering for all homes built on that date. Oh, do you need to click all of them? Oh, These mind. are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. A corner store. That seems unlikely. Bowling alley. No. <sighs> Damn it. Let's keep looking. So it, it has to be this one. You are not going to believe this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House, where she killed her foster parents. Damn. According to its records, it has a basement. Well, just in case she's expecting you. Oh, upgrades, people! Upgrades! What is that? Something I almost didn't get to finish because of Penguin. 
It's the most advanced version yet. <laughs> Lady Arkham will have no idea what I've got up these sleeves. Well done, Lucius. You've been long overdue for an upgrade. This suit is beyond state of the art. Oh, I'm a menace on society now. This ends tonight. Heading into the basement. Be careful. Watch out, watch out, watch out. No? Okay. There's no one here. No Alfred. Damn it! There's blood on the walls. I'm going to see what I can find. Standing by. So it was the right spot. Alfred's blood is still fresh. Means we can't be far behind them. This is where they had Alfred. Where they beat him. Oh, there's a secret ball in there. Yeah, but that's, obviously that's a secret wall. Alfred, there's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. Just punch a hole in it, honestly. The wall is just a facade. Why would the Veils have a false wall in their basement? Now let's find out what the Veils were hiding. There's a small room. Shit. With a hole in the floor. What what the fuck is a rope ladder? Anyone down there would be trapped. Alfred! Just go down there. I'm going inside. Oh my god, it's a torture dungeon. The torture room. It's a fucking torture room. Bruce, what's down there? Do you see Alfred? No. It's some kind of torture chamber. Shackles, belts. Blood. What? Vicky. She was kept down here. Locked away. Who could do that to their child? I'm beginning to understand. What is there to understand? To willfully hurt a child? It's why she killed the Veils. They abused her. I'm not saying what she did was right, but... But... I can't imagine what she went through. The veils yeah, imagine foster being, children may not like, have been the that much by to your parents. They watch you in Alfred's a blood into this hole. room by any six, like, not even six all, feet, that's easily like ten feet clear. under the ground, full concrete, most likely metal, for probably for who knows how long. Shackled up, down here. getting lashes on the belt. I guarantee. It wasn't like the leather part of the belt, it was probably like the metal part. Shackles. Blood on them. Old. And Honestly, this could also be a sex dungeon. Like, you don't know. Alfred you don't know if this could to be her. a torture chamber, actually. There are drawings. 
Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. Vicky definitely got real freaky. The chalk here is different. Newer. Bloody scratches. Fingernails. Someone tried to climb out. Alfred? No. Vicky. The belt. It's caked in blood. This room, this, is where Vicky Vale became Lady Arkham. Damn. Alfred's glasses. Alfred's glasses. One piece apart from the others. Blue. My tech can't be a coincidence. Maybe Alfred's too fucking smart. Some of the words have been highlighted. She will liberate. Figures fleeing from something. Is that Arkham Asylum? Arkham Asylum. just along for the ride. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems, including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors, release the inmates, and she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon and the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise. If it took him like two hours to get in. Everything good? Orderlies are rounded up. That's the last of it then. The children of Arkham have taken over. That suits no slouch. You're well prepared for a fight. And the GCPD are on their way deal with the inmates. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. No, you don't. Oh, you're done. This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his beam. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. No one's dying tonight. You really think you're in control here? Yes, I'm Batman. <laughs> Your confidence is impressive. But that won't save the butler. Or the rest of Gotham. Unless it needs to be taught. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you, Vicky? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. 
You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I know you experienced pain. I know you suffered. You were tortured, held captive by the people who were supposed to love you. I don't know how you survived. You want to know how I survived? I survived. Because every night, I dreamed of the revenge I'd take on them. And this forsaken uh, city. I you need to go see a the time's run out. Uh, no, no. Boy! You underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. Uh-oh. Open the doors! Some of them are actually sick. Are you Arkham, gonna eat it? Listen to me! Freedom is yours! The only one standing in your way! Victor Vaz is actually sick. He's stuck me in here! Me too. Let me out. He's the crazy one. Yep, I'm definitely the crazy one. Systems offline. Every inmate's loose. The leader of the children of Arkham. Did you see her? They went. Yo, he's fast. <laughs> oh, that 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 dog is getting raped. He's getting bent over the table. You're not getting away, Vicky. <laughs> uh, you'll get. Oh, yeah, no, we gotta hit him with the food tray. Absolutely, dunk. This guy. Oh, yeah, no, he's getting the. Yeah, no, he's getting the kitchen treatment. Oh, you know, this guy's getting the WWE treatment. He's getting the chair. And this guy's getting teeth in the head. I think that's a pretty good, um... Pretty good. I think that was the best way I could have done that. I don't think I could have done it anyway. Better. Oh, you know, this person's getting... Oh, yeah, no, Vicky's getting the, um... What's she getting? Uh, heavy metal table, or... No, no, she gets... Yeah, no, she gets light and light. Give me time to uh, run after her. Ha! <laughs> Oh, here comes the taser. Oh no. Here comes the taser. Back everything I said about Vicky before, she is an, uh, one ugly motherfucker. Batman. Oh shit! Take your time, Sans. That's the plan. He's an idiot. Yes. Uh. 
through shank. Oh, Batista bomb. Truly inspiring. Such a pleasure to see your work in person. Shake his hand. I've been shaking his hand. Did, wait, did one of them pick up a fucking spoon? What are the what's a spoon going to do? Batman! Lady Arkham has a hostage. We've got the inmates. Lock it down! That guy's messed <laughs> up. There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't. <laughs> they they know the way. Know, but I can help Alfred she, Penworth. She knew the way. Take me to him. My pleasure. Oh, that's hilarious. Apparently she knows the way. <laughs> How does she have hover boots? Oh, okay, she, she bitching this is Ratchet and Clank now. Vicky! <laughs> You're sick, Vicky. You need help. You're not well, Vicky. You need professional help. Sticky Vicky. <laughs> Says the man dressed as a bat. <sighs> Let him go. Actually, yeah. The butler has to die. Why did Bruce Wayne choose to be right now? Payment for Thomas Wayne's sins. He took That's away my family, case. so I'll take away his sons. If you really want to save the butler, bring me Bruce Wayne. Can't do Anyone that. Can find him. It's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12 inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. I'm not gonna bring you someone just so you can murder him. <laughs> well then, the butler's death is on you. You're doing so much for one old man. I'm surprised Vicky hasn't cl clocked on that I'm that Bruce Wayne is Batman. Oh shit! Oh my! Oh my god, it's like a, Vicky, it's like <laughs> I'm in a Dark Souls dungeon. Games. This isn't a game to me. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for Gotham. Like what? Well, Maybe one good thing. Deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. We're fighting the same fight, Batman. Okay. Can you see that? I agree, we they deserve the same it. Things. I won't argue. Falcone and Hill got what they deserved. <laughs> That's quite the turnabout, Batman. I don't think I believe you. You shouldn't don't be believe here. Me. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than this one? He hides behind his status and wealth. Oh, don't He's tell me I... Blaming other men to carry his burden. Is there going to be an option where I can, like, reveal myself? Wait. Oh, shit. I'm curious, Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What, what about you? Um, I Do wear, you the... wear the mask to hide. No. Or to become who you really are. I wear the mask because it helps. Me. Are you the man? I'm blind. Or the mask. 
The mask is a symbol. Some fear it. But for others, it brings hope. When I first saw it, I found it inspiring. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. Hey, go for it. Oh shit! They're sacrificing Alfred to God. Ah! Oh no! Hold on, Alfred. You, you, you came. You came for me. Of course I did. <laughs> After what you said. I knew you'd come. The man. Mate, stop. The man, stop. I, I stop. Made you. Just hold on, that's... Alfred. Did you see You're what saying she it all meant? wrong. She just dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Above you! <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar. Alfred. <sighs> Such concern. For someone you've never met before. Release him. Then we'll talk. <laughs> you know, I just don't believe you. I think Alfred may be the only way I can make you talk. Okay, go for it. It makes me wonder. I'm not revealing myself to Do her. Do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh. Batman, don't you? Shut up, old man. You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. No. You're only a piece in the bigger game, but you're the only piece I have left. Yeah. Batman coming in. Stop thinking. It's over. Nothing will keep me from my revenge. Teeth out. 
Rip a cock off. to last week's events at Arkham Asylum. A spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it, it's better that they don't. Aw, oh, Alfred. Any word from Miss Kyle? And I don't expect I'll be hearing from her anytime soon. Oh, I'm sorry, Alfred. Alfred, here, l let me help. No, no, don't. With everything that's been going on, I... I, uh, I haven't yet thanked you, Bruce. You've saved my life. I've no doubt Ms. Vale would have killed me had you not arrived when you did. But the fact remains, in my state, I'm not of much use to you. It'll take time no, to don't say that. Don't say adjust. That. And I'm afraid it may interfere with my butler duties. Without you, none of this would work. You are my family. You don't know how good it is to hear you say that, after everything that's happened. I promise you, I will use everything at my disposal to help you. Oh. Well, sure. I mean, the silver's not going to polish itself, is it? <laughs> we will get through this. I wonder what happened if I actually took my mask Don't off. lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. I didn't take them down alone. I had help. You, Lucius, Gordon, Selina, and all those who gave their life fighting for Gotham. To those who helped, and those we lost. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Oh my Faith God. Faith in those at the top what is has perhaps on? irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has mm. promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. 
leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. That Gotham thing this could is be a fresh start. What the fuck? For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. Thank you, Homer. Oh, I just hug it out. So, what do you intend to Nerdity. do about tonight? Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. Bruce As Wayne. Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. Yep. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Nah, go with Bruce Wayne. Nah, Perhaps Bruce. one is... Let Gordon know Bruce Wayne will be there. You'll make quite the impression. Gordon will be grateful. Commissioner Gordon. He is here. Commissioner Gordon. Yeah, it doesn't sound right. Don't worry. It will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. Well, to be honest, I was surprised to get your call. Now, after that nasty business at your manor, I know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that, I wouldn't blame you for lying low. What you did is no secret. These people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. Public opinion is bound to swing around. Before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. These people they have no idea who Bruce Wayne really is. But that's about to change. Oh? Well, I look forward to knowing the real Bruce Wayne as well. Yep. Everyone is getting Batman killed. Everyone's getting absolutely murked. Um, I am dropping a new one. We need to an eye we need on get rid here. of the prime out of Not to mention, <laughs> he makes one hell of an impression on people. Well, too bad he's not here. Wouldn't mind meeting him. Yeah? <laughs> well, he's not much of a talker. I ready for you, Commissioner. During times like these, it can feel impossible to hold on to hope. But I have hope. Hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. Now in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. And one of those people is Bruce Wayne. Thank you, Commissioner Gordon. Tough doc to follow. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here today to not only show my support for our acting commissioner, but also for this city. Many of you have suffered terrible losses. And some of those losses came at the hands of my own father, or at least as a result of his actions. I loved my father, but nothing can excuse what he did. So today, I stand before you as my own man, heir not to the Wayne legacy, but to Gotham's. If my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. 
I think it's time to repay that debt. I plan to use my resources to improve the city and make the lives of its citizens better. And to that end... No, fuck Arkham Sun. Strong Gotham Police. A closer alliance between the GCPD and Wayne Enterprises will provide the police force with the support, with the training, and the equipment they need to make Gotham safer than it ever has been before. The GCPD will be the most technologically advanced police force in the country because the people of Gotham deserve to feel safe. Really come to assassinate me. She's like, oh, what the fuck? Clear the area. Get that bastard to lock up. That guy didn't really Just like me. Minutes ago, Bruce Wayne delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. Oh, there he is. See you soon, Bruce. People pocketed it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Get my season overview? Fuck no. Cunning. Col collaborative and compassionate. Merciful. <laughs> 